What up YouTube, Will here. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to make my favorite dessert I had back in school, the humble apple crumble with a sweet gooey apple filling topped with a buttery shortbread like crumble followed by a creamy vanilla custard. It will bring a smile to everyone you love. So without further ado, let's get cracking. To start things off, we need some apples. There, magic, right? Here I'm using pink lady apples. Feel free to use any kind of apples you like. The classic being bramble apples. But hey, you don't need to even stick to one kind of apple. You can even mix them up, bringing different flavors, sweetness, sourness, and different textures to the crumble itself. Peel them and chop your apples into bite-sized pieces. About a centimeter and a half by a centimeter and a half and then pop them in the pan. Along with that, add a bit of sugar, a dash of cinnamon, along with a splash of water. Put them on a hob and cook until the apples start to soften. Once done, set aside to cool. Then let's make that lovely crumble. In a bowl, add your cold butter straight from the fridge, along with flour, sugar. Feel free to substitute part of the granulated sugar for brown sugar or even demerara sugar, which I'm using here, just to bring a little bit of spice to the crumble. Then, using your hands, mix the ingredients until you get your crumble texture. Once done, add some vanilla along with some flaked almonds. Incorporate these into the mixture by running them through your fingers until you achieve a crumble like so. Then in an oven proof dish, spread the bottom with your apples evenly and then top with that amazing crumble. Just to note, here I'm using a 20 by 28 centimeter Pyrex dish. Then pop that beauty in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes until golden. Whilst that's cooking, let's make the custard to bring us back to the good old school days. On your medium heat, heat up your milk and double cream. And whilst that's heating up, in a bowl, add in your egg yolks, corn flour, sugar, vanilla paste, and then whisk until pale and well combined. Once the milk and cream mixture starts to boil, turn off the heat and add a bit of it to the egg yolk mixture and whisk well. This will ensure that the mixture is well homogenized and also ensures you don't end up with bits of omelette floating in your custard. Then return all of the mixture into the milk and cream, pop the heat on again and continuously whisk until your custard has a consistency like so and coats the back of a spoon like shown. By now your apple crumble should be ready, so pop it out of the oven and let it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. Hope you enjoyed this apple crumble and custard recipe. If you did, leave a thumbs up, share with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel and my other social media platforms. Give this recipe a try and let me know how you did. Of course, share with your loved ones or if you're like me and you just can't handle that nostalgia, don't bother sharing. Keep it to yourself. Don't even give it to your son or your kids. Thank you for watching and until next time, peace.